down to verse 20 through 24. And if you found it, say go ahead. Go ahead. It says, 14 says, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in shoe land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Verse 20. If ye forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he has done you good. Verse 21. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the Lord. And Joshua said unto the people, Ye are witnesses against your own selves, that ye have chosen you, the Lord, to serve him. And they said, we are witnesses. Mm -hmm. 23. Now therefore put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, the Lord our God we will serve. And his voice will we obey. Why yet, standing or sitting, whichever the case may be, look at somebody behind you, beside you, or before you, and say unto them with a loud and enthusiastic voice, say, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Look at somebody else. That's the wrong nigga. They ain't like they don't want to talk back. Look at somebody else. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Or neighbor. neighbor. Or neighbor. neighbor. Make up, make up your, mind. your mind. You may be seated in the presence of all God. Make up your mind. How many know that that uh, when you're on the highway, uh, there are times when you you have to make a quick decision. When, when you're on the highway, you know it, sometimes uh, you know you run into situations and circumstances yeah. whereby you might run off uh, the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, if you run off the shoulder, then you got to make a decision how to get back on the road. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. I've seen how people sometimes. Uh, go off the shoulder and the shoulder is so uh, deep that uh, they make a, a quick decision and, and turn the wheel so fast that uh, their car have turned over yeah, yeah. because uh, they made a, a bad decision uh, on the highway. Oftentimes, you know, uh, you, if you hesitate uh, on the highway, sometimes you, you might lose your life yeah. because uh, oftentimes I tell my wife, uh, you know, through the years, I've told her that, you know, if you make, uh, if you're on the highway and, and you need to pass somebody or, you know, if you wait too late, you know, you might lose your life because hesitation, vacillation, and hesitation sometimes will get you killed on the highway. I'm going to say amen. You got to make a, a decision on the highway and and oftentimes, in, in my field of work, I've had to drive many, many, many miles in my day. And there have been times when rocks have, uh, like, like it was this morning, I'm talking about boulders, have come down and, and I had to make a quick decision how to uh, alleviate uh, hitting a boulder in the road. Uh, don't you know that life is like a highway? And, and, and whenever we're in the highway of life, you got to make some decisions in life. Am I right about it? Yeah. I made a decision over 40 some years ago. I looked and, and saw this girl sitting on the bus. And I said, I'm going to make her mad. Y'all ain't saying that. I, I made a decision and, 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 and I went after, uh, I'm, you know, I made it up in my mind and then I went after her. Next thing I know, uh, you know, she was dating another fellow, Wayne. And, uh, you know, after a while, she, she had this pile of rocks <laughs> for the other fellow. Y'all ain't saying that. In life, you got to make decisions. 
you know, whatever choice we make will determine whether or not, as well as our descendants, uh, you know, and, and, and those that are around us will be blessed or those around us will become cursed. Well, I, I don't know what you intend to do, but I thank God that uh, we are a family in the house of the Lord. Amen. We are all family up in here, up in here. Amen. And don't you know that uh, we are in a time of our history nowadays, whereby the church stands at the crossroads of the city. A time when everyone's called to black, white, brown, yellow, red. Uh, we are at the conscience of our communities and that is at stake. We must choose either life or death. We must choose blessings or curses. And don't you know that uh, I'm kind of like Joshua myself because, you know, even though I have an empty nest now, uh, I've made up my mind, Sister Morrison, that uh, I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. Is anybody with me up in here? Amen. Well, you know, well, uh, well, 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 whether we determine in our hearts that we're going to serve the Lord or not, we we got to live in the community of which we live. And, and, and if your community is a community that is redeemed, you know, oftentimes you live in a community and the community is, is evil as hell. I'm just going to say it like, I'm going to call it like it is up in here today. Uh, you know, we live in a country that, you know, um, you know, we... We live in a spot now that, you know, anything could happen. Yeah. We, we, we live in a, in a position whereby, uh, you know, we could be bombed or, you know, we might bomb somebody else. Or, you know, we live in a, 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 a terrible predicament nowadays. Yeah. And I'll just leave it at that. But, but, but we got to somehow or another make a decision. Yeah. And I don't know about you. I know from whence my help comes. Yeah. My help, all my help comes from the Lord. And I have to give God praise and glory and honor and power and strength and dominion that's due unto his name because without him, I can't make it. Amen. Let me say that again. I said, without the Lord, I can't make it. Maybe you can make it without him, but, but I can't do anything without the Lord. Why? Because crisis is oftentimes uh, stuff that we go through in life. Amen. Am I right about it? Uh, sometimes, you know, we might lose loved ones or, you know, uh, the dog acting up, cat acting up, husband, wife acting up, significant other is acting up. Uh, people start acting up. Maybe, maybe ain't nobody acting up in your life. But, you know, there's crisis looming on every hand. And although the majority of our teachers nowadays are uh, doing our, their best to, to, to teach our children. Our children are in the midst of sin and debauchery. Right. Uh, they live in positions whereby uh, they might get the word of God at church, mm -hmm. but when they go to school, it's another story. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. I remember when my youngest son, he's a grown man now, 30-something years old, but he came home when he was in middle school. They called it junior high. Uh, back, I guess what I still call it because I'm old school. Uh, he came home and told me some stuff. Uh, he said, Daddy, come here. He said, guess what? I saw today. I said, what you see, baby? He said, Lord, I'm resting. He said, well, I can't tell y'all because y'all ears. That's the first time I saw y'all ears pricking up. I said, man, I, I need to go back to junior high. <laughs> That's the kind of relationship we got. Amen. But our children are in the midst of a whole lot of mess that's going on in, in school and other places whereby they are. You know, they're, they're coming to the point of intellectual birth but dying in the womb of human possibility doing, uh, because of making wrong decisions. Amen. Following the wrong crowd. Amen. Anybody in here ever followed the wrong crowd? Well, you know, back in my day, uh, Wayne, I was leading the wrong you crowd. Better know it. <laughs> Amen. But I give God the praise that he saved my life. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we need to make up our minds. Drugs or deliverance. Yes. 
Cell block or the classroom? You better know it. Gangs or God? Yeah. We need to make up our mind. Yeah. We need to make up our mind. Are we going to serve the Lord or we going to serve the gods that were on the other side of the flood? Justice or injustice? Libation or liberation? Junk or jail? Jehovah or something else? Some other kind of God? Eternal life or eternal death? We need to make up our mind. Death means turning our backs on uh, the perennial struggles of justice and equality. Death means uh, turning our backs on God who delivers the oppressed yes. and he is compassionate upon the poor. Yes. We, we sometimes turn our back on poor folk. And, and, and you know, uh, sometimes the government says, well, you know, you need to help yourself yes. rather than uh, us giving you a handout. Yes. But had not been for somebody that helped me I wouldn't be here on the day. Yeah. Uh, we need to somehow let us know that, that God is somebody that gives us life. Yeah. And life means affirming and celebrating the spiritual inheritance passed down to us from a kidnapped, tortured, and enslaved people who determined to be and to become in spite of every attempt to dehumanize their situation yeah. and their life. I just stop by to let somebody know today that we need to make up our mind. Joshua knew that uh, we must serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth. Joshua knew that we needed to put away the, the fake gods, the pseudo gods that uh, we oftentimes serve, that uh, we have on the other side of the flood. Joshua knew that we must Somehow or another, in spite of every attempt of the devil to draw us away from serving the Lord, that uh, we somehow need another need to come together and love one another. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, because how can we say that we love God when we fussing and fighting among one another? Well, God, uh, Joshua gave the people an ultimatum. He said, make a choice. He said, make up your mind as to whom you're going to serve. Yes. Either false gods or uh, God Jehovah. Yes. And his son's name is Jesus. Y'all yes. ain't saying nothing to me. Yes. Look like y'all stayed up too late. <laughs> Look like y'all was at uh, Boogaloo Baptist last night. Y'all yes. ain't saying nothing. Yes. Well, Joshua knew that the Israelites had been, uh, had been blessed in a strange land. You know, God gave them the land of Canaan and uh, the Bible said that uh, it took two men to carry one cluster of grapes. It was a, it was a land flowing with milk and with honey. Uh, they hadn't built anything there. They hadn't planted anything there. But God blessed them with that land. How I many know that oftentimes we are uh, serve a God that gives us stuff that uh, we didn't do anything for. That we did not deserve. Am I right about it? And I give God the praise that uh, we serve a God like that. Because God is a great God and he is great to be praised. Well, Joshua uh, implores them to deface these deities that uh, some of them had carried over from the other side of the flood. They had pictures and they had little icons and, and other things privately hiding them in their homes. But Joshua knew that they needed to destroy that stuff. And how many of you know that oftentimes we got stuff that go on in the dark that's going to come out in the light? I'm going to say amen. Because all things are going to come out. My cousin and I, we oftentimes talk about that. You know, uh, sometimes preachers are slipping and sliding and peeping and hiding. They're trying, trying to, uh, you know, uh, get with this one and that one. But all that stuff is going to come out. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Well, uh, don't you know that Joshua knew that uh, they were being tempted to serve other gods? Uh -huh. 
Oftentimes I tell my wife, I'm like, are you married to that device? Y'all ain't saying nothing. You know, you know, them phones and whatnot, them, them iPads and, you know, uh, all of that stuff that we carry around with us. Can't go out, can't go to the bathroom unless we got that phone in our hand. Can't go, can't go nowhere in the house without having that phone in our hand. Leave, leave the house. Oh, Lord, I done forgot my phone. Go back and get it. But what about your Bible? Amen. But I bet you ain't, you ain't thinking like that about your Bible. Am I right about it? Well, sometimes we are serving little gods and we don't even realize it. I'm going to say amen. Well, uh, let me hurry on because some of y'all hung up on me already. Uh, Joshua says, choose you this day. Choose you today. Am I right about it? My brothers and sisters, we, we also should make a choice today as to whom we're going to serve. Let me give you three reasons why we need to serve the Lord. Can I give you three reasons why we should serve the Lord? You know, my mama taught me a long time ago that, that we need to have some gratitude. We need to have gratitude for who God is. He is God all by himself. He don't need you and he sure enough don't need me. So uh, he's the one that woke us up this morning. We ought to have some gratitude. He's the one that when you woke up that you were in your right mind. We need to have some gratitude. He's the one that when you woke up this morning and, and you were in your right mind that you were able to somehow or another make it to the coffee pot or to the kitchen to get yourself a cold drink of water or some coffee. Amen. We need to have some gratitude. Amen. He's the one that allowed you to wash up this moment. Amen. We need to have some gratitude. Amen. He's the one that allows you to put one foot in front of the other. Amen. We need to have some gratitude. Amen. He's the one that uh, somehow going to put a little morsel of bread on your table. Amen. We ought to have some gratitude. Amen. He is the only one that uh, somehow or another puts a roof over our head. Right. We, we need to have some gratitude. He's the one that uh, didn't let you freeze last night. I'm going to say amen. I remember the time that, you know, we had to build a fire in order, and I still build a fire in my house, and I thank God that I'm able to build a fire in my house. Amen. Because you can't beat going upside that fire and warming up. Y'all ain't y'all ain't feeling it yet. Y'all sitting there folks don't nothing about a fire in the house. But don't you know that uh, nowadays we have gotten so small that all we got to do is go to the to the wall and you know oh it's a little chilly in here. Uh, we just turn the heat up, hit the button. You know the heat go up. We you know we just serve the Lord and, uh, and thanking God. But yet you know you ought to uh, have some gratitude for where God has brought us from. Oftentimes, we don't realize where the Lord has brought us from. Am I right about it? We, we ought to realize that, you know, our ancestors, uh, they had to build a fire. They had to chop wood. They had to uh, make it, they had it hard in their life. Oftentimes, what the floor in the house. I remember when they used to sweep the uh, 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 front yard. I remember I go to somebody's house and they sweeping the ground in the house. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We need to understand that God has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. We ought to have some gratitude for who God is. We ought to thank God for giving us his son. Am I right about it? We ought to have some gratitude for Jesus Christ. Jesus didn't have to come and die for you and for me. We ought to have some gratitude that God gave his only begotten son. That all of us might have eternal life. And I don't know about you, but I can't help but praise the Lord. Because every time I think about Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. And I thank the Lord for saving an old wretch like me. We ought to have some gratitude for Jesus dying on the cross. Shedding his blood that we might have a right to the tree of life. 
We ought to have some gratitude for uh, our elderly folk in the house of God. We ought to thank God for a Reverend Knox. We ought to thank God for uh, Deacon Rob. We ought to thank the Lord for Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby, you know, she might get up in a feeling sometimes, but we ought to thank God for it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We ought to thank the Lord for a mother club because the Lord has let them see one more day and the day ain't promised to none of us. Am I right about it? So we ought to give God the praise for our young people. Have some gratitude for what God is doing in their life. We ought to give God some praise for uh, a piano player. Amen. I give God the praise for a good wife. Anytime I wake up in the morning, I can look in one room and say, Lord, I, I thank you for this, and I thank you for that. I thank you for my window that I can get up and look out of if I need to. Y'all ain't saying that. I got a whole bunch of stuff just in one room that I can thank God for, and I can thank the Lord for now on until the day I die because I ain't got enough tongues to give God praise for what he's done for me in my life today. Not only should we have some gratitude, but uh, we also uh, should serve the Lord for his grace. Yes. How many know that mercy is what I didn't get that I did deserve? Yes. I, I don't know if you had a mama like mine, but you know, a uh, mother sometimes would say, boy, I'm going to get you. And, and she said, I'm going to have mercy on you today, but, but you keep on and, and you know, you campaign it. And I'm going to let you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying the same mama I did. She keep on saying, boy, I, I done told you. I, I done had mercy on you. I had mercy on you yesterday. But you keep on and, 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 and you asking for it. <laughs> That's mercy. Huh? That's mercy. Kept on giving you mercy. And then don't you know that, that sometimes she take me out to G.C. Murphy. Y'all forgot all about G.C. Murphy. <laughs> Y'all know about Murphy's, do you? And, and in Murphy's, they had a, a popcorn machine. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. And, and sometimes, you know, even though I was acting up and, and she gave me mercy, uh, when I went to G.C. Murphy's with her, you know, and still acting up, and, and I said, Mother, can I have some of that popcorn? Can I have a bag of that popcorn? And she said, Boy, you know you've been acting up. You don't deserve no popcorn, but, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. That was my mama's grace. Amen. Because she gave me something uh, that I that I got that I didn't deserve. Y'all ain't saying that. That's how the Lord is. Sometimes he'll give us that grace. Yeah. That grace and mercy. Y'all heard of grace and mercy? Yeah. They're like, they like uh, two sisters, twins. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mercy and grace. Amen. For grace is what I did get that I didn't deserve. And, and, and God's grace is the unmerited favor that he gives us on a daily basis. I thank God for his grace. Because had not been for the grace of God, would none of us be in here on today. He brought us through a many, many situations. He brought our ancestors through. Even though they hung us and they stretched us. Uh, they put a horse on one side and a horse on the other side. Stretched our, 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 our ancestors in such a manner that uh, they would make other slaves behave. Uh, just by stretching out a, a big uh, black man. But I thank God that uh, the Lord is still with us. Because he bought us from a mighty, mighty long way. And now, uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King dream is coming alive. Because he said, I, I want to see black and white. And, and everybody else walking hand in hand. Loving one another like God intended. Is there anybody here today, thank God for his grace. Because had not been for the grace of the Lord. Don't you know that uh, Deacon Salty wouldn't uh, be here right now? Right. But I give God the praise that uh, every day, yeah. uh, one of these days, is going to be like Sunday. Yeah. And don't you know that the Sabbath will have no end? Right. One of these old days, yeah. I give God the praise yeah. that uh, I won't have to walk by faith anymore. But I can walk by sight. Yeah. And don't you know that when God's grace comes Truly about. 
that we'll be able, all of us, to yeah. see Jesus for ourselves. We'll be able to walk up in the glory. Yeah. And if the Lord by chance says, come on in, ye blessed of my Father. Yeah. You'll be able to walk through and look at the pearly gates. Yeah. And say, don't you know yeah. that by his grace I made it in. Yeah. Is there anybody here today know that one of these old days will be able to walk in the gates of glory? And then don't you know we can look uh, and walk by sight? I'll be able to see the streets of gold. And don't you know that uh, the Lord is sitting there on his throne? And the Bible says that uh, he's going to gather all nations right there to his throne. And don't you know that I made up my mind a long time ago? And I'm going to see Jesus for myself. I've got to hear his voice say, well done. Is there anybody here that really want to see the Lord's face in peace? Don't you know that I thank God for his grace? Because it was by the grace of God that Jesus died on an old Roman cross with nails in his hand. Man nails in his feet. And I thank the Lord that even though Jesus could have called a legion of angels to come back and help him along the way, he stayed right there on the cross and he died for you and he died for me. But I thank the Lord that he's right now up beside God making intercession for you and making intercession for me. And when I get there, I'm going to find Jesus. And I'm going to say, thank you, Jesus, for your grace. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Because you didn't have to do it, but you did. And I just want to say, thank you, Lord. And don't you know that even though uh, Jesus is in glory and we're still down here, my last point is that he didn't leave us comfortless, but he gave us a guide. And the God's name is Holy Ghost. Is there anybody here that's got the Holy Ghost? I thank the Lord that I've got the Holy Ghost. And every now and then, I can feel a little prayer wheel turning. Every now and then, I can feel the Spirit of God hit me down in the top of my head, going all the way down to the bottom of my feet. Is there anybody here that's not ashamed to praise the Lord? I thank the Lord that has been good to me. Is there anybody here that really loves the Lord? Do you love him today? Do you love the Lord? I'll tell you why I love the Lord. Because he looked down, got me up out of the muck and the mire. Put my feet on a solid rock. He established my going in the world. He picked me up and he turned me around. He placed my feet yeah, on solid ground. And I love the Lord because he's been good to me. I said I love the Lord because he's been good to me. I might not have everything that I want, but I give the God of my salvation praise because he's been good to me. And if I don't get anything else, I can go to glory with a smile on my face. Say thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for me. Is there anybody here? Thank the Lord for a guy. Because every now and then, I don't know which way to turn in life. I get to a crossroads, and I look right, and I look left, then I look back, and I look and thank God for bringing me this far. I can ask the Lord, Lord, which way do I go? And I thank the Lord, he said, be not wise, in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil, in all your ways, just seek the Lord. And don't you know, he said, he will guide your footsteps, and I I thank the Lord, and my footsteps are ordered by the Lord. I can say thank you, Lord, because I can see now that there's a pitfall there. And the ditches that they dug, you better be careful about digging ditches. Because the ditch that you dug, you might fall in it yourself. Is there anybody here that really loves the Lord? Have you made up your mind? I'm going to serve the Lord. Job said, as for me, Joshua said, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Is there anybody here that's really going to serve the Lord? Do you love the Lord? Say yeah. This might be 
said I'm married to the backslide. Are you here today? Will there be one that would like to come as uh, a candidate or as a backslider? Would that be, is there one here that, would, that does not have a church home and you would like for uh, liberty to become your church home? Amen. We'd love to have you come and become a part of the Liberty Baptist Church or join this church. I learned that from Tim. <laughs> Amen. Would that be one? 
Will that be one? We thank God that we have Sister Wheeler. She's going to be, she's been here for a long time. Been a member. She wants to be baptized. So we give God the praise for that. Amen. Amen. Oftentimes, you know, we we look at people, you know, differently. You know, but we thank God that we're all the same. And we all in the same boat. Y'all ain't saying that. We all in the same boat. You know, because were it not for Jesus, we would none of us be here today. Am I right? We are God's people. And when you are a child of the Lord, you know, the Lord said, we got to become like these children over here. You got to become like them. Because if you don't, you shall in no wise see the kingdom of God. Am I right? That means we have to humble ourselves and realize that we can't judge nobody. We don't have a right. You know, we have one judge. His name is Jesus. He is the son of Almighty God. But we can't be fruit inspectors. So we have to love one another. Amen. You know, joy. That's part of the, of the fruit of the Holy Ghost. You know, peace, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and long suffering. We have to understand that those are the fruits of God's Spirit. Amen. If we don't have those, something wrong with us. Yeah. And if I don't display that, Y'all need to keep me on my body. You got to go. Amen. I'll say that again. Maybe y'all didn't get it. We all have to, we should display the Holy Spirit's fruit. Because if we have the Holy Spirit, we can be in unity, one with the other. If we don't, then we can't get along. And I don't know about you, but this house should be like heaven is going to be. Yeah, Did y'all hear what I said? Yeah. This house should be like heaven is going to be. Because they're going to be all nations. They're going to be people of all nationalities. All cultures. They're going to be people of all denominations. They're going to be people of every creed. But we ought to realize that if you belong to the Lord, then if you are right with God, you are right with me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. So I give God the praise for one Amen. that is called to repentance.